y'all, it's your girl Caitlin, aka C Dollars, and I'm here with another freaking video. Okay, so as y'all see by the title, we're going to do a DIY little safety pin tank top that's trending. The tank top that's going around with cute whatever, but we gonna spice it up. We're gonna use some creativity, baby. So get your paint brushes, get your water, get your paper towel, get your paint, get your shirt. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then baby girl, what is you doing, baby girl? Oh, baby boy, what is you doing? Why do you want to subscribe to the channel? I'm giving y'all this content, okay, baby? This content y'all don't want to miss out. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and comment down below if y'all plan on doing this DIY. And send me y'all pictures on Instagram. If you ain't following me on Instagram, then follow me on Instagram. It's gonna be right down below at C Dollar Diet. We're gonna start the talking, we're gonna hang you straight into this video. Okay, y'all, so the materials y'all gonna need are a pair of scissors, preferably regular scissors. You're also gonna need you a container of safety pins. You really just need the large ones, but I couldn't find those, so if you can find the long, large ones, that's fine. You need a writing utensil. I have a pen or a pencil to work. And you can choose any type of paint color that you would like, a cup of water, and a thin paintbrush. Along with the paper towel that you can dab your paintbrush on. And of course, you're going to need your men's tanks. You can pick them up at Walmart or Target. I got mine from Target in a size small because I want them to fit tight. So you're going to need to try it on and make sure, you know, it fits well. And to also get an idea of where you need to cut your line. And you can do it however crap that you would like. So I'm just taking my pen or you just take your utensil and just line that wherever you like. And of course, you can always adjust it once you take it off have to be perfect because you're going to cut it but just have an idea so then we're going to go ahead and grab our scissors and get to cutting where we lined our tank you have to be very careful and take your time especially if you only have kitchen scissors because you don't want it to be perfect but you also don't want it to be raggedy it just lines everywhere and stuff like that here's a close zoom up of how i'm lining Once we get done cutting, you're going to want to make sure you stretch your tank top. Make sure it's all completely even. And we're going to go back. Can you uneven lines? We're going to adjust those. And you're also going to want to turn to the side as well to get the different angle that you might have not seen from the first angle. And just make it as straight as you can. Also, while doing this, y'all, please make sure you have a finger in front of the scissors to make sure it's not too much tugging because the tank top is pretty full. And once you're satisfied with your line, please just look at it and just make sure that you're all good. Now it's time to get into the more cutting. And you're just going to make sure you even off the tank top. You don't want no uneven spaces. You don't want no crooked lines. So just take your running utensil. And depending on whatever style, like cut that you want, it all depends. But for me, I'm going for... A zigzag line so yeah we're gonna start off at the very end at an angle and be very careful and being that I use a pen I would recommend if you are using a pen to be very light because my pen, I was being kind of heavy-handed and I had to go back and make sure um, that the purple wasn't showing so just be light-handed with doing this so yeah just continue to follow the same pattern all the way till you get up to the very top So once you reach the top, go ahead and grab your scissors again, and we're going to start from the top, or you can start from the bottom, it really doesn't matter, and follow that line. Again, be very, very careful, and just take your time when cutting the line. Again, y'all, please make sure that you have that finger by your scissors, and just really be careful because the tank top is so easy to tug, and it will make your line. Okay, y'all, so now I'm just going back and getting rid of all of that purple ink from my line that I made. And if you didn't use ink or you may have used a pencil, then you may not have this problem. I also just started to add a few little cuts in the back. So basically just tug it with your finger and 
really hurt. Okay, y'all, so now you're going to grab your safety pins, and we're going to get to pinning this tank top, honey. So, yeah, just grab your big safety pin. Pretty for you to hold. You don't want it too close to the end, but you don't want it too far as well. And just click it, and there you go. And you're going to continue to get it all the way down to the end. You can add however many or put it wherever that you would like. Okay, y'all, so now comes the spice and the creativity. So I'm going to just grab my pen. You can grab any color that you would like. And what we do is to get the little flats on the tank. You literally just take the whole bottle of it and just tap it and rub it against it. You can move it around a little bit. And now we're going to take our thin tip paintbrush. You can get another color. And me personally, you know, I'm sea dollar. So, of course, I got to draw some money signs on my tank. And, of course, add my name as well. Y'all can do any design that y'all like. Add your name. I also added some hearts with that too, which y'all will see in the final product. Also, guys, please be careful about how much paint that you put on your tank. You don't want it to put too much because it will leak from your paint top. Because, again, your tank top is not for so thick. Alrighty, y'all. That wraps up my safety pin DIY with some spice. You don't, of course, have to do the same type of design as yours to make it yours. You don't learn it, so. And you can also do your cuts differently. You can do straight down. You don't have to do the big wide. You don't have to. You literally can make it your own. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up if y'all liked it. And please let me know if you guys tried this DIY. Leave me a comment below. Send me the pictures on Instagram. I'm serious. Don't be playing. And then also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get an alert for when I do upload. So y'all stay tuned. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.